What if the whole world went vegan tomorrow? Well, first off, I'd be doing this. Hallelujah. And a little of this. But okay, I'll talk some about what else would happen. This question has been asked many a time to many a vegan. Today's comes from Nico F who asks, if tomorrow the entire world became vegan, what would happen to all animals in the slaughterhouses? Well, number one, as much as I would love for it to happen, the world is not gonna go vegan overnight. But let's say, for argument's sake, that it does. Well, the food industry, like any industry, is all about supply and demand. If we don't demand animal products, they will cease to be supplied. So farmers would stop breeding animals for food. Now for the animals that are already there, the worst case scenario would be that finding that there's no longer a demand for their product, farmers might abandon or slaughter their remaining animals. In the best case scenario, the animals would be sent to a sanctuary. But in reality, even the worst case scenario is countless times better than continuing our current system of slaughtering billions of animals every year. Jackie V adds another common concern brought to vegans. She says she's often asked, but if we save all the animals, the world will be overpopulated. That's why we have to eat them so that they don't overrun us. Now, before I get into a factual refutation of this statement, let me just say this. Saying that if we didn't slaughter, eat, and hunt animals, they would overtake us is like farting in a room all day and saying that if you weren't there to open the window, the stench would overtake you. In both cases, humans are the ones creating the problem. What I mean is this, the reason there are so many animals is because we breed them. Both with our food industry and hunting, we create artificial populations. State wildlife agencies boost deer populations and breed game birds to create hunting opportunities. And our food industry breeds billions of genetically modified food animals to satisfy our demand for animal products. In both cases, if we stopped the demand, the supply would stop in response. And the wildlife populations would find their own balance based on predators and available resources. And let's not forget the amazing things that would happen if the world went vegan tomorrow. There would be an end to the meaningless slaughter of billions of lives, the 80 to 90% of our crops that currently currently go to feeding our food animals could feed the world's hungry. The environment could start to heal from the devastation of the animal products industry. Natural habitats destroyed by industrial agriculture could start having a fighting chance. No more would mother pigs have to feed their babies while lying cramped in gestation crates. No more would mother cows have their children ripped from them moments after birth. No more would male baby chicks be ground up alive in the egg industry. No more would billions of sentient, innocent beings live tortured, painful, terrifying lives only to be killed without even as much as a thought. That is what I think of when asked what would happen if the world went vegan tomorrow. And that is the answer that matters. For more information on what I talked about in this video, please see the links below in the description. And I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and become part of our Bite Size family. Now go turn the world vegan.